teaching the kids a new computation skill like long division or multiplication or adding and subtracting decimals, I love to give them an exit ticket that's just a quick problem um, that I have them work on their whiteboards or paper pencil and they take a picture and they upload it to Google Classroom. Um, so this was from our, when I was first introducing long division and we had started with just a two digit number divided by one digit. So I asked them to solve 81 divided by three and post a photo of their work in Google Classroom. So I'm just gonna show you a few examples and uh, kind of tell you a little bit about why I like this strategy so much. So here we've got a student that has done it correctly and I like seeing they've got, the student has their symbols at the top to help them remember the steps. I am noticing that they did not check their work with multiplication, so that would probably be something I would want to make a note of. So a lot of times what I'll do for this is just jot down some notes for myself of small groups to pull for the following day. So this student might go in a group that's, hey, you're doing great remember to check your answer with multiplication when you're done and let's practice doing that a couple of times. Um, here we have a student that has the right answer but they didn't actually complete the steps so I'm going to want to check in and make sure that they know they need to go ahead and finish the steps because when we move on to larger numbers that is uh, that could mess them up. So I need to check in and see, did they just, they knew that there wasn't going to be a remainder so they stopped or were they thinking that they were done and not thinking about figuring out if there's a remainder. Another reason I like this is because I tell the kids when they're doing it, if they get stuck, just to stop and take a picture of how far they're able to get. So it's not so much about, yes you got it right, no you got it wrong but letting me see their actual work and get a glimpse into where their mistakes are. So this is a student that got stuck. Um, they're doing better than they think they are, they're just not sure how to get this part up here. So that would um, be a student that I would need to pull at the beginning of class time the next day. And this student just was completely stuck. So I told them if, they, if you have no idea what to do, then tell me that. So you can see here, they have no idea what to do. They don't know where to get started. So I need to pull them and we need to work together the next day. Um, here's another student. They've done it correctly. They've finished it, but they also did not check it with multiplication. So I would want to check in and make sure they remember to do that. And I'll just do one more. Um, here's one of my students has Handwriting is messy, but I can see here he's got the process down and he's checking it with multiplication and he's got his symbols up at the top. So he's doing well. So uh, this is just a quick way. It doesn't require much prep for you. All you've got to do is come up with a problem and post it in Google Classroom. The kids just work it out on a whiteboard. You don't even have to run copies of anything. You don't have to deal with the papers later. You can just flip through on your computer and just jot notes of which students need what type of help the following day.